Okay, so today we have Ride and Vapor Trail, and we're doing the video, oh, and hopefully it won't get blocked. Um, so shoegaze has been talked about, about before with me, and uh, but I've never reacted to a shoegaze band until now with Ride. So finally, you know, I've done so much Brit Pop, but uh, people have talked about shoegaze in the comments, and here we go, finally. Of course, I know of Andy Bell because of his work with Oasis, um, but I've never listened to his old band Ride, so let's get into it now, talk about it after, and let's go. First you look so strong Then you fight away The sun will blow in my eyes I want you anyway Thirsty for your smile I want you for Vapor Trail. What a nice ending, too, with the strings. I didn't expect that. Um, so, you know, <laughs> you have those songs where it's just like, you know, everything 
you know, a guitar riff will stick out at you or the bass line or, you know, the drum work. Um, but I mean, here is just like every single part, you know, and also talking about, I think it's a cello and a violin at here at the end. Um, it's just like, you know, obviously, you know, <laughs> the distorted guitar was big here. Uh, and that's what I've come to, you know, see with what shoegaze is all about from, I guess, what Wikipedia is telling me, you know, uh, <laughs> it says, you know, a subgenre of indie and alternative rock music, uh, uh, always, you know, characterized by uh, obscured vocals, guitar distortion and effects, feedback and overwhelming volume. And I mean, yeah, <laughs> Ride has all that in spades. And, um, you know, just with, you know, when I talk about, you know, the distorted guitar and then obviously the bass line there as well uh and the drum work i really enjoy the drums here uh and we'll get into the personnel in a second but um yeah i just really enjoy the drum work i mean from two minutes on until the end it was just you know an instrumental and you know the boys were going back and forth the band was going back and forth and uh just really enjoyed you know sometimes you know instrumental can be i don't know maybe boring or whatever but here it's just like you know it, was, it had such a groove it had a bite to it and um yeah just not even talking about uh, andy bell's vocals but i mean andy bell's voice this is the first time i'm hearing him sing and uh he has you know he was 20 years old well he was born in 1970 this was released in 1990 might have been like 19 or 20, whatever, when he recorded the vocals. But you can tell, I mean, I could tell, you know, his vocals, he sounded so young. And his voice, though, sounded, he also, I mean, it had like a gruff, a gruff kind of heavy vocal tone to him. And uh, just uh, so beautiful. I mean, it's just, I don't know, it's a heaviness to his voice, which I didn't expect. And uh, I just really enjoyed him, though. And uh, as well... Uh, the band was so young. I mean, yeah, they're all like 20 years old writing a s beautiful song song like this. I just don't know how, you know, the, the talent that somebody has at that young age. Just nuts. But um, yeah, I really enjoyed his vocals, obviously. And there's only two verses in here and then two refrains of him saying la la la. But I mean, you know, you, you're just begging for more ride. And, uh, you know, you listen on. And it's just, you know, his voice which is so good. Um, but anyway... Um, just talking, talking about the lyricism as well. You know, everything here is just beautiful. Uh, almost kind of a bittersweet song, you know, talking about a relationship, you know, love. Uh, but yeah, it's just, I, I just can't get over And I like the video as well, you know, kind of scratchy, uh, you know, uh, almost kind of psychedelic. I mean, just because of the colors or whatever. Uh, kind of reminded me of the video from the Beastie Boys for So What You Want, uh, that kind of vibe. Um, but uh, like I usually do uh, at the end of the song, uh, is read the about from Genius. So uh, <laughs> here is uh, the about. It says, this is, this is a song from the album Nowhere. Uh, I like that album title, Nowhere. Uh, released on September 15th, 1990. The song was written by lead guitarist Andy Bell. So I guess it's just saying, if that means by, you know, lyricist, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so it's so poetic as well. Just love the lyrics. Anyway, and it's one of the most famous songs from the band. It is also, it's also an iconic song from the shoegazing genre, which is why, you know, I, I did it. <clears throat> it says, in an interview, Andy said, uh, I remember writing the riff in a hotel room on a very early Ride tour. And I just love, you know, Ride, the band Ride. It's just like, what a name. Uh, we were in a bed and, bre bed and breakfast kind of uh, scenario. And I was sing sitting on a bed with an acoustic guitar uh, to get that four chord pattern, which is really very simple. It's played on two 12 strings. People seem to be quite interested with the guitar sound on this record. If there are phase or effects, but there's not. It's just uh, two 12 strings. It's just one of those magical songs. Magical. That Yeah, that's really, really good, uh, you know, quotation there from Andy. Uh, these songs are the easiest to write and the ones you don't really have to think about at the time. It came out so easily and so effortlessly. Uh, and he goes on, I guess it is just one of those ones I'm the most proud of from that era. Uh, and I mean, yeah, when he says effortlessly, that's a word I should have used as well. His vocals, he's, he just sounds as well as the music. He just sounds like he's singing so effortlessly. Like his mouth is open, words are coming out, and it just sounds great. And, uh, yeah, it, just, it sounds dumb to, to say, but yeah, he's just so effortlessly in the, you know, it's just like... This ba this song just came to them so easily, and I like that he said that. You know, it's one of the easiest ones to write because you know a lot of you know hits I've heard not all of the time, but you know a lot of you know musicians, uh, writers, whatever. Uh, you know, when they write a song, they know it's going to be a hit usually, and sometimes those songs come so easily. It's just like you know you can write it in an hour, and it's just it's there. Or maybe some other ones, you know, they take a long time. Uh, but I like that he says here, you know, just basically words were falling from the sky and it was just very easy to write. And I just, you know, I just like when that happens and I'm sure, you know, the songwriter likes when that happens as well. Um, but, you know, going on to the lyrics, you know, 
And again, I didn't expect him to come in so early, as early as he did. He came in around like 10 seconds or whatever, and I was just kind of surprised. I don't know why, I just thought the, you know, the guitar was just going to have more time on its own. Um, but, you know, he says, first you look so strong, then you fade away. The sun will blind my eyes. I'll love you anyway. Oh, love that. Uh, thirsty for your smile. <laughs> That's a good uh, line even for today, being thirsty. Uh, I watch you for a while. You are a vapor trail and deep blue sky. So poetic. Good Lord. And then we have the refrain there with the la, 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 la. But there are some annotations here. Annotations here. And the first one from the first verse says he's talking about a relationship that didn't last. So he says that it faded away, leaving a vapor trail in the sky. Uh, and again, you know, like I said, kind of the song, it's it's almost, it is kind of, you know, bittersweet, but it's also beautiful. And it's kind of has that sound of like, yeah, this relationship didn't really work, but it still was, you know, a good time. I don't know. That's what I get from it. Anyway, with the last and second verse, uh, tremble with a sigh, glitter in your eye. You seem to come and go. I never seem to know. And all my time is yours as much as mine. Damn. He, again, 20 years old. These are such deep lyrics. It's just like, my God, we never have enough time to show our love. And then the refrain, once again, the last annotation here. Now, uh, now it's like he can't figure out when she wants him or when she doesn't. But he says, uh, that all the time he has is dedicated to her, which I get, yeah, so sweet, uh, meaning that he could wait forever, although ne they never seem to have enough time to show their love. And it's just like, this came from such a young, um, young man's mind, and it's just like, I just, I don't know, I can't get over it, I don't know why I can't get over it, but uh, Andy Bell, good lord. Um, oh, uh, yeah, I should talk about the other personnel, uh, just because, you know, I said they all of them did such great work, obviously, especially the drums. I really enjoyed the drumming, uh, you know, near the end with the instrumental. But of course, you know, the distorted guitar was nuts as well. Anyway, uh, so yeah, on lead vocals, of course, lead uh, vocals, yes, Andrew Bell or Andy Bell. Uh, and also on guitar, Mark Gardner and Andrew Bell, it says here. And on bass, Steve, I want to say Q-U-E-R-A-I-T. <laughs> uh, I apologize, but Steve on bass here. Uh, and of course, on drums, uh, Laws Colbert, maybe Colbert. Uh, I'm thinking of Stephen Colbert. Anyway, Laws on the drums, and maybe it's Lowe's. I don't know. Either way, on the drums, uh, great work. Uh, and also, I want to say... Um, I did see that they, uh, you know, were obviously broken up for a while because then, you know, Andy went to, on to do stuff with Oasis and everyone else kind of uh, went away as well. But they did return in, I think, 2014. Uh, and there are some, you know, live performances. So I will definitely have to check out, you know, the live stuff that they did, uh, you know, when in the return and everything. And um, yeah, because this, I don't know, it's just one of those bands, you know, you hear them and it's just like, I want to hear more. That's what I got right away. Especially, yeah, I just can't go over Bell's voice. Just so nice. Uh, such a nice voice to listen to. His heaviness is just so unique to me, uh, especially for, you know, such a young singer. Um, but anyway, strong vocals, uh, strong performance all around. The groove was nuts. And uh, yeah, I, distortion, obviously a big part of shoegaze music, I guess. And they had that, like I said. So anyway, really enjoyed this. I'm glad I finally got to shoegaze. I'm sorry it took a long time. I just left my brain. I don't know why. But um, anyway, I guess that's all I got to say. Great music. Good Lord. Uh, so thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, subscribing, uh, commenting, all that stuff. And again, I apologize for butchering, you know, two band members' names probably. But uh, I really enjoyed uh, the song. So there you go. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you guys again soon.